Okay, hello and welcome Matt and um, anyone else who's viewing this presentation. Um, welcome, welcome Matt, welcome Pride Management. Welcome, um, welcome everyone. So this is a presentation I've put together for a share exchange platform for Pride of Footscray Community Bar. And I'd like to take you through this presentation and then show you the system that I've set up um, that I think is a really good way to handle the buying and selling of shares in the bar. So uh, about me, I worked for Defence Science and Technology Group the past 21 years, supercomputing specialist and system administrator. Um, I worked in an elite team building new world-class defence HPC centre in South Australia which will house a top 50 supercomputer and one of Australia's fastest supercomputers. Majority of my work in defence was at the secret classified level. I have recently accepted a redundancy package, voluntary redundancy package, and um, that was so that I could go and work full-time in the Bitcoin space and also to concentrate on non-profit and charitable work in the transgender communities in Melbourne and in Patea, Thailand. I consider myself semi-retired now at the age of 42 in my government defined benefit pension plan and my Bitcoin and other investments. So I'm working as an entrepreneur and I really value and I needed a location independent income. That's why I elected to take a pension. Um, so yeah, anyway, why does Pride Bar need a share exchange platform? Well. The current process for buying and selling shares in the bar is not as fair, equitable, transparent, open, and timely as what it could be. It's what it could be. And um, in this presentation, I'm going to show you my solution to that. So the current process is uh, Matt places a message on Facebook advertising that a share or shares are available by an existing uh, shareholder. Interested buyers need to uh, spot the Facebook message quickly uh, and then send an email to shares at pride of our footscrate up bar where Matt then puts existing shareholders uh, or the existing shareholder who's selling the share in contact with the prospective buyer. Uh, the existing shareholder then receives a large number of emails from prospective buyers. If the seller has a price in mind already, such as a thousand dollars a share, and this is known to the buyers, then you know a bidding war can and uh, most often does break out uh, with buyers offering more for the share in order to try to secure it. Just uh, note carefully that regardless of whether the seller intends to hold an auction and create a bidding war, this situation occurs anyway due to the nature of the item for sale, you know, fractional ownership, equity. In the business. So the existing shareholder that's selling then has to choose which buyer to sell their share to. So how does the existing shareholder choose a buyer? You know, what is fair? And based on what criteria does the shareholder choose a buyer? You know, what is equitable? How does the existing shareholder price the share? How is transparency achieved? How quickly does the share sale take place? It usually occurs very quickly and it doesn't give time to all market participants that are interested in purchasing the share. So what is a fair time for the shares to be on the market? There's currently no transparency of price. Other market participants, uh, you know, who are the other market participants who are interested? How many of them are there? What are the current offers and bids for the shares? Okay. There's no transparency and openness at the moment. So what's the solution to these problems? What's needed? Well, I believe that an independent, at arm's length, open and transparent and fair share exchange platform that enables existing shareholders to put their shares up for sale and for prospective shareholders to bid on and purchase these shares. The platform should 
provide a bidding process so the existing shareholder can put their shares up for auction. And so buyers or prospective shareholders can bid on those shares with a starting price. And the shares should be for auction only and with a specific time frame so that everyone in the market <coughs> oh, excuse me <coughs> excuse me um, so that everyone in the market who sees the shares have become available know that from the date and time they've hit the market there are an n number of days until the auction ends and they all have a chance to bid on so this type of share exchange platform marketplace it serves as a platform where existing pride bar shareholders and the numerous and ever-growing band of prospective pride bar shareholders can meet interact and transact with each other and since the number of market participants is numerous each is assured of a fair price buyers bid the shares up to whatever they think that they're worth and sellers receive the amount of money that's fair based on the number of prospective buyers and the market price now Pride of our Footscray is a small business and it's a high demand to become a shareholder. High demand for shares and low supply because people don't seem to want to sell their shares. So there's competition amongst buyers to secure shares, but at the moment the competition process lacks openness. How many buyers are there? It lacks transparency. Who are the buyers? What are the prices they've been? And it lacks fairness. Why did I miss out on shares even though I offered the same or a higher price than someone else? Is that somebody else who managed to buy the shares special in some way? Is they got something that I haven't got? Is their money, colour of their money different to the colour of mine? And so on. These are the sorts of questions that come up in mind um, with the current process. So. A small scale stock market or share exchange platform designed for trading pride bar shares in a controlled, secure and managed environment is what's needed. As I said, the market will bring together the market participants who wish to buy and sell shares, ensure fair pricing practices and transparency in transactions. So the platform will instill confidence in the participants with zero to low operational risk for, for pride bar itself. So the platform will operate independently and at arm's length from the business. And the platform is responsible for ensuring price transparency, liquidity, price discovery and fair dealings in the share trading activities. Fair dealings, the pride bar, share transactions, efficient price discovery, security and validity transactions, equitable access to the shares by everyone, transparency in the pricing, and bids of other market participants. Timely access to the shares in the marketplace so participants know when they're made available for sale at what starting price, how long the auction goes for, how to bid on them, and how to buy them. So the platform that I put in place is uh, it's a paid product, but it was developed using open source software. It's PHP based, it wasn't expensive. Uh, it's based on the most popular and robust MyPHP auction platform, available at myphpauction.com. Developer supported. I've actually been chatting with the, one of the devs. Secure and branded in the Pride Bar and LGBTQ play color scheme. Online 24 7, backed up, battery uninterrupted power supply. Hosted right here in Melbourne on my infrastructure, INTJ Billing own and operated computing infrastructure. INTJ Billing is 100% owned and operated LGBTQIA plus business. It's owned and run by an existing shareholder. It's myself, Clark Towson. And the platform is uh, got, uh, it's all traffic encrypted by Let's Encrypt, SSL, Secure, RSA algorithm, 2048 bit key size, SHA-256 with RSA encryption. Now the payment methods supported include Bank Deposit Express, direct payment, i.e. from person A's bank account to person B's bank account, PayPal and more. Now 
the PayPal integration means payments are also possible using credit cards. So participants who want to buy shares from an existing shareholder could do so using their either a direct payment from bank account to bank account, or they could use their debit card or their credit card. There are multiple additional payment options, including Stripe, WorldPay, Authorize.net, True Checkout, and more are available on the platform. So I can create an admin login for Matt and other private bar management so that you can see the buyers, the sellers, dates of share sales, payment methods, etc. A bit Bitcoin payment for shares could easily be integrated into the platform with a bit of additional work, which opens the door to Bitcoin rich prospective shareholders looking to diversify their holdings by shares in the bar. Now, enabling existing and prospective shareholders to use Bitcoin to pay for shares is the ultimate empowerment. Integration and configuration work on the platform has been documented by myself. And configuration items and documentation support can be provided to private bar management should management wish to implement the platform on self-hosted, own operated IT systems. I mean, I've done the work, there's systems available on, on my platform. Uh, if you want to implement it on your own though, uh, I'll hand over all the documentation, all the details, everything I've done to set all this up. Um, that would be fine. So the platform adheres to the fair and equitable values of Pride Bar, as detailed in the Pride Bar logo, indicated by the round table signifying fair access for all, fair access for everyone. Everyone who stands with us has equal status. The platform is online right now in real time. It's ready for evaluation and testing. Please take a look at it. PrideShares.intjbilling.com. So, the infrastructure that I run, this uh, CentOS 8, is the Linux operating system. It's a virtual server. It's running on bare metal, high powered server infrastructure. Virtual box. Uh, I've got a number of virtual machines running on this infrastructure. Uh, it's running an Apache web server. I have an on-premises Ubuntu-based Postfix and Dovecot 24-7 available email server. It took me a lot of time, effort, uh, a lot of time and effort to set up and get working. But wow, the benefits of running your own email server, even in, th in this day and age. And the Pride Share Exchange platform makes heavy use of email, heavy use of email. When people sign up, um, especially uh, when people sign up. Uh, to the platform. So that's all fast, but it's all running off my own, my own infrastructure. Now, Postfix and Dovecot, the email server that I'm running, here's to all the latest and important things like DKIM, DMARC, SPF, SKIM, and all security controls. So setting up your own email server is a time consuming, frustrating, and complex process. And there's a lot of work that needs to uh, be done it requires close collaboration with your ISP as well and I've done that I've done that it took me a lot of time and effort but I've done it it's a fast email server it means clients receive emails quickly so I see my broadband provider is Aussie broadband I've got a dedicated business connection business class Stray tech router Got an MBM fiber to the premises connection that's in pro progress that will be hooked up shortly. It's actually overdue by over a month. The NBN Co. have uh, gave me a time which was uh, May 13th, so it's getting on to almost a month now that they're late. <clears throat> now I've got static IP addresses for each piece of my server infrastructure for each of my virtual servers. So platform and all my infrastructure is supported by myself. I've got a lot of time on my hands now that I'm semi-retired. I've got an Excel spreadsheet list of all the configuration items. Now I can make that spreadsheet available to Pride Bar Management should they wish to hold the configuration security details. And the platform can be easily integrated into the existing Pride Bar website. 
just create a new menu item at the top and add the add the link. And interestingly, the platform can be easily expanded to integrate automatic PDF share certificate creation using F PDF. So this could automate the creation of Pride Bar share certificates completely, taking what's currently a labor-intensive, time-consuming and manual process and turning it into an automatic and very fast hands-off process. Right? Thank you for watching this presentation and listening to me here today. Please uh, have a look at the platform, prideshares.intjbilling.com. Be happy to answer any questions that you've got. Please uh, send me an email, uh, clarktowson at intjbilling.com, or you can give me a call, 0432 359 166, or um, message me on Facebook. Be happy to hear from you and uh, and uh, answer any questions that you have. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to bring up, going to bring up the uh, system, the actual online platform. So here it is. Looking at it right here. Um, got a welcome page where people can sign in and register. Got a graphic here. Created created this graphic, I've got a bit of a share market um, graphic in the background and the LGBTQ colors of these people here standing, standing side by side as equals. Okay. I put the shareholder pledge, I'm part of the human race, I respect diversity including but not limited to diversity of thought, opinion, gender, culture, ethnicity, religion and sexuality. It's the pledge that all shareholders sign. Got a couple of links here. Click these, it'll go directly to the Pride Bar website, Pride Bar shop as well. Got some integration there. And I've put up a, a test auction. Okay. So if you go to the site as a visitor now, uh, you can see that I put up, say, five shares in, in Pride Bar just as a mock option. I'm not really selling these shares. Um, in fact, I want to buy more. So, <laughs> so don't take this as I'm looking to sell, sell shares. I'm definitely not. Um, but you can see here, you can see there's a bid and you can see um, that there's a countdown timer, time left on the auction, start time, end time, status is open. The reserve price has been met. Uh, I created a, a second account here. I logged on as a second account and placed a bid on the share, on the shares. Uh, you can see that I'm the seller here. And uh, yeah, so that's what you see when you look at it as a guest. But go back to the home page. Uh, what people can do if they click on the graphic here, they can sign up, register as an individual or as a business. I'll put the terms and conditions here. Uh, these are the standard terms and conditions that Matt talks about when um, people are looking to buy and sell shares in the bar. I've expanded upon those put some additional things there for you, for you to check out. Um, and put the logo, Pride logo at the top there. Um, so clicking on the graphic here will take you to the registration page. Uh, same with the graphic here. So if I go and log in now, I can log in as myself, Clark Towson. You can see there's a, uh, here's my auction here. I can't edit this anymore because somebody has placed a bid, a founder has placed a bid. Um, but I can easily go through and I can create auctions. Um, so there's a lot of stuff under here that I can set, all my personal settings and so forth. It's a very comprehensive online auction platform. It's very stable, um, very good platform. It's better than the existing one that I trialed last year. So this one is rock solid. You can see here at the top of the screen, it's uh, SSL secured, verified by, uh, by Let's Encrypt. Let's see here. So my web host, um, I've, got, I've got my own inf server infrastructure, but I also have um, some of my infrastructure located in America uh, on Pacific Coast or what was Pacific Coast. Um, 
changed the name now, but uh, I've got a server, a virtual server there. I INTJ billing, uh, I've created an, uh, a DNS record, an A record for Pride Shares. So when you go to Pride Shares to INTJ billing.com, that points to my virtual server located right here in Spotswood, uh, in my house, battery backed up, a um, whole lot of configuration items, professionally managed, online 24 seven. Uh, this goes to uh, a Linux server called Blue Morpho. Blue Morpho is a type of butterfly. I've named each of my servers after different species of butterflies, butterfly being the international symbol for transgender people. You can see here that, uh, well, that's crypt certificate. So anybody who goes to the site, creates a user account and has any dealings with it, all their information is encrypted. So nobody can do a man in the middle attack or anything like, like that. So that's the platform, isn't it? So what I'd like uh, to suggest is uh, it might be an idea to have a couple of people uh, you know, create accounts, log on to it, do some testing, put in some bids on my mock auction, let them know that it's a test platform, um, see if they can sign up okay, see if they're getting emails okay. And they certainly should be because the uh, email server is my own. So what I can do, I can take you through the admin interface. An admin interface here. This is where we go through and we put all the settings. So see the site name, put in there, the address, using send mail. That's pointing to uh, another piece of software that I've got so that it can authenticate using my email authentication um, TLS um, with my email server. You can see the Pride logo there. There's a whole lot of settings in here that can be set related to user signups, dates, times, um, what's available on the auction site, etc. It's huge. Your, your day just going through the settings. But I think we have something uh, of merit here. And looking at the Pride logo, it's a round table where everyone's equal. I really think that Pride Bar needs to implement a platform like this to make it fair on everybody who's looking to buy shares. Um, fair and equitable for all the reasons that I gave in my presentation. Okay. I think it's, uh, it's a much fairer way, even though I guess, you know, auctioning off shares and people putting high prices and on shares and playing bidders against one another and all the rest of that stuff. Um, I don't particularly like, like that. Um, but I don't see any other way, um, for the process to be fair, okay? Because think about, as an example, what happened the last time, okay? So I was looking to buy, looking to buy the share that came up for sale recently. Matt placed the message on Facebook. I saw the message, but I saw it, you know, a couple of minutes too late, and it was only up for about 14 minutes, 14 minutes uh, until I contacted Matt. So look, I want the share, please put me in touch with the seller contacted the seller. The seller told me that, uh, look, I'm sorry, but somebody got in before I did. And uh, so that particular seller sold it to the person who came before me. I would have been willing to offer that seller more money as well for the share. So the, sh the, the person who sold the share didn't get the highest and best price for his share. Um, so I would have provided that highest and best price. Although having said that, somebody else might have provided a higher and better price than, than myself. So having an auction platform like this, this is the closest we can get to a, a, 
to a fair way to do this, uh, to manage this process. Um, now, I couldn't find any PHP, uh, PHP share settlement platforms out there specifically for shares. Okay, but this is the next best thing. And I really think uh, that this is the fairest way that this process can be managed. Okay, that's hands off, it's at arm's length from the bar, from the bar's management. I'm INTJ Billing. I've got my own computing infrastructure. Yes, I'm a shareholder in Pride. We will need to put in some, um, uh, some caveats when I want to buy additional shares, for instance, given that I'm, yeah, if you, if you go with this system, if the decision is to go with it, um, then when it comes to me buying shares, we have to figure out, well, how can I buy shares in a fair way, given that I'm managing the, the, the platform, right? So I understand this, um, and I do want to buy additional shares. But I just, yeah, I've sent this to Paul um, to do a bit of testing, to have a look at the presentation uh, as well, uh, because, you know, Paul is an existing shareholder. He was very interested in um, acquiring more shares, and him and I discussed the process. We, um, we really felt that, process wasn't as fair as what it could be okay now I really think that we need to take things up a level so that we've got something like this in place so that it's fair on everybody so anyway that's it um, please uh, please do feel free go to the address uh, prideshares.intjbilling.com have a look at the platform sign up to it log in test it out have a look at what I've got uh, as a mock auction. And please give me your feedback. Let me know what you think. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching this presentation. Um, much appreciated. And yeah, please let me know. Um, and all the best, everyone. I look forward when things open back up again after lockdown to getting back to Pride and to uh, getting back to uh, the next show, Girls Night. Okay. All the best, everyone. Bye-bye.